Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is going to be talking about the outcome of NaNoWriMo 2020 for me. This was such a weird NaNoWriMo. It was also a weird 2020 in general. But if you don't know, on November 1st, Matilda and I decided to do a 24 hour live stream and it was so much fun. Honestly, I was really, really excited about it, but I was also feeling really nervous. This was one of the very first live streams I'd ever done. I don't know why with like the experience of, I think at the time only one live stream under my belt, I decided that I wanted to do a 24 hour live stream. Go big or go home, <laughs> I guess. But it was so much fun, even though I had some technical issues and there was a few little hiccups with my computer along the way, I just had a blast and I felt a lot more comfortable than I expected to. Like I really expected to be a lot more anxious and nervous. I don't know, I just didn't feel nearly as nervous as I expected to, which was a very nice surprise. Even though towards the end, we kind of started babbling nonsense and some of my typos <laughs> were just ridiculous, but you know what, that's okay. <laughs> So that was a really great way to start off the month. And also word count wise, I started off really strong with that. And then I feel like over the next couple of weeks, I just didn't feel the pressure of NaNoWriMo, which I know for a lot of people is a good thing, but I really thrive in that like self-imposed stress, like the sense of urgency of NaNoWriMo. And I feel like I was kind of wavering with that a little bit, but I still ended up pushing through, but I ended the month with 50,024 words. I finished a couple days early too, which I was really hoping I would. <laughs> and also I finished the story. I had so much fun with this story in general. There was a couple times that I felt a little bit stuck because I realized that Matilda and I didn't plan out the second half of the story as much as we planned out the first. I think we just had so many good ideas for the first part. And then the second part was a lot more like bare bones. And I feel like I probably should have realized that and done a little more brainstorming about, you know, act two and three, but uh, I didn't. <laughs> but I was still able to come up with a lot of really cool ideas and things got super cute and Mark got a sister and Billy opened a magic school and everybody lived happily ever after. And I just love it. <laughs> I am considering once I polish it up and like, I'm not gonna make this an actual, like, fully polished story. Like, I'm never really gonna do anything with this story, I don't think, because it was really just a fun experiment and just, like, something cool to try. But I kind of want to at least do a second draft, or I guess maybe this, I don't even know if you consider this a first draft, but I want to polish it up a little bit. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll, like, post it somewhere. Not because I think it's good, because honestly, it's, it's not. It's, it was fun to write. I feel like so many people helped bring the story to life and with like the planning live streams and then like talking about it like in the chat and on the live streams and stuff and I just think it would be kind of cool just to kind of like show you guys what actually came from it so I'm kind of playing around with the idea of sitting on it for a while because I just want to write something different now but I think that I want to maybe polish it up a little bit and then I don't know maybe I'll share it because I think that would be kind of cool and that's the idea I'm playing with. And really as far as NaNoWriMo went, it was a fun month. It was a rough month for a lot of other reasons for me but like the NaNoWriMo aspect was fun and I like the routine of sitting down and writing and I feel like, I don't know, it was just an enjoyable month. I wish I would have had a little bit more stress but I feel like I'm kind of in the minority there so take that with a grain of salt. Now the next question is, what the heck is next? I think I have just been way too impatient to get back to Monsters and Imaginary Friends. I just really miss that story. I miss my characters. And one of my big 2020 goals was to be completely finished with Monsters and Imaginary Friends. And I'm not beating myself up too much with the fact that I didn't complete it. I really don't think that I'm gonna be able to finish everything in a month, like that's ridiculous, but I think that I got really far in it and I think that all things considered with how badly 2020 got derailed, I think that I got really close but I really want to get back into Monsters and Imaginary Friends. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do next. Maybe I'll do a writing vlog of kind of getting back into the routine of that story with such a shift from Wholesome Billy into Monsters etc. So all in all, November was great. I reached my word count goal. I finished the story. I'm going to take a break. I might show it to people eventually and I want to get back to Monsters and Imaginary Friends. So I think that's pretty much all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it please click the like button to let me know and subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday usually reading or writing related. 
So I hope to see you guys next time. And until then, have a great day. Bye.